Hey guys, it's Jen, and today we're gonna cover this this car. That is the uh, pink Avante Mark II S2 body damper that I have. See? And um, I got inspired by one of my friends that I actually race with. He races with a, a lot of pink cars, so. I'd like to say hello to uh, Kuya June. If you're watching this, this is this car is your fault. Uh, and who who doesn't like to have a little bit of pink in their life, right? Yeah, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, there's uh, we're gonna go start with the rollers. Probably move from uh, front to back. These are the um, 90 millimeter pink uh, ringless uh, race rollers. The uh, item, num item number 95213. I have six of them. So, you know, two at the front, you know, four at the back, you know, standard uh, setup. And uh, the next piece I want to tell you, because I have I have AO620 in here, um, uh, the full the full four set, and I think I have, I have it in the gearbox as well. Let me see if I could, uh, you could listen to it, what it sounds like. So it's uh, pretty quiet. I know I have the uh, four point, is it four to yeah four to one gear ratio in there. I, I on this car I emphasize torque more than top speed, so um, that's one of the things that I wanted to try on this build. One of my friends, Jeff, insisted that I try to build a car that's um, higher gear ratio, basically for more torque, and uh, it's it's been okay. I haven't won with it yet, but like at some point, I'm sure that I'll get to there, hopefully. Um, now we're going to go move on to the front. This is the um, AR uh, wide plate, uh, Jacob 2014, um, item number 95043. I have it here on the bottom, supported uh, supporting the um, let's see the HD carbon reinforcing plate, um, item number 94845. I have you know like in most of my builds, I have four of them. One, uh, two, three, and then uh, four. For the uh, three of them are used for the uh, the body damper, <coughs> and they're good because they're tough. You know, carbon. I almost always go carbon if I can, and if I actually have the parts. And uh, this is the, the two millimeter red uh, reinforcing plate. The one that has the 13 and the 19 millimeter spots. Uh, that's what I use to mount my front rollers so that like it doesn't have a lot of flex. It will flex a little bit but not that much so that it keeps its um, uh, downward angle for the turns and for the lane changes. Uh, now on the back I have the, the fully cowled um, plate, item number 95072, the, uh, what do you call it? Um, the, the 20th anniversary version of the uh, fully cowled plate where they they made the the two the uh, one and a half kilometer version that didn't have the 20th uh, anniversary you know branding but like you know they i've already run through all of my uh stock of the old ones so I'm, now i'm using these ones and the next piece the one here that basically is where everything is connected to this is the um rare uh, carbon multi-roller setting stay rare one, um, 1.5 millimeter number 94848 and that's where everything connects to where my mask, my uh, body damper is connected to and my rear brake is connected to the uh, <coughs> Japan Cup 2014 the front plate um, AR uh, 95042 that's this piece he cut the sides off to so that you could also mount the some mass dampers here on the back. So I leave that there. Um, and over here on the side, I actually have like two pieces where there's a, a separate piece that, that I actually use. Um, the one piece that I use uh, for the side catches is the uh, the Super X uh, roller stair uh, roller stay the rare 94883. That's what I use for the side catch right here and once you cut off the sides I use the middle to reinforce the back 
right here. The middle part goes here. Um, let's see. Yep, right there. That's where it goes. And uh, that has enough holes actually modded so that there's an additional two holes on the edges. And then that allows you to reinforce the back. And uh, some, most often times when you drive a screw through here, it might warp the plastic a little bit. But if you do this and put the, uh, the, put the Super X uh, center here on the back, it'll um, lessen the likeliness of the, the plastic warping from you screwing into like screwing uh, like the uh, like a long screw through it and then maybe like over torquing it then the next piece is the uh, the AR wide rear plate FRP I use that to reinforce the center I'm gonna go ahead and remove it so that you guys can see how I built the, the mass damp the, uh, the body damper setup and uh, I like this car because my niece likes it you know too she's uh, She's, uh, she loves the color pink and the color red, so at some point I'm going to build up a red car because that is technically her favorite color. I'll build her a red car. I'm not sure with what, maybe a Thundershot. I'm not sure. <coughs> Let's see, uh, the Thundershot Mark II because those are still relatively easy to find depending on where you go. Okay. Where did that lock go? Don't tell me I just lost the lock nut. Okay, well, whatever. I'll find that later. Uh, let's see. I'll go over the batteries. I have the Unloop lights. These are the old versions. Uh, HR3UG. I have the uh, Hyper Dash 1 in here. Oh, there it is. I feel it now. Lock nut. There you go. See, with the exposed motor, that helps you. <laughs> Magnetize loose screws. Um, see, I have uh, 4 to 1 gear ratio, and I do have uh, an open AO620 in there with the, the covers uh, taken off so that it's smoother, and uh, the straight flooring shaft as well so that you know it's smoother again. Uh, yeah, basically, this is how it's built. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the, the batteries and then we're gonna go with it. As I drop the battery to the floor, pick that up. We're gonna go away it so I can show you how much it weighs. And uh, this is one of my lighter cars. It's not super light in comparison to, I think, the last car that I, uh, the, what do you call it, the Avante, the blue Avante. And uh, this car is uh, pretty quick uh, because of the cornering. Most of the tracks that we have here in the States, so don't have like very long straightaways so I figured that I might start to emphasize using higher torque and it's been doing it's been okay I have not placed with this car yet but I've gotten pretty close I've ended up in the semi-finals like uh, a couple of times with this but uh, the other car was just faster or like I flew off and uh, I've been pretty happy with it uh, let's see before I continue I have the these are the trimmed um, large diameter um, red tires. As you can see, there's still a little bit of the print left from the cut. Um, item number 95045. Those are hard to find now. The, uh, I kind of wish I still had more. I only bought two and then I traded one away. And I kept this one. I kind of wish I didn't do that, so let's see. Let's tighten this and then we're going to go weigh it so you guys can see how much it weighs. <coughs> Let's see. Let's pop this up. Turn this on. And put this down. So it weighs 118 grams. Now, it, it, that may just be the way that I have the mass damper set up right now. I think it's a little bit heavier than what I, no, I normally run. Usually I run the pancake over here and then the uh, cylinder uh, over there in the back as well. But like, it's okay, the, the car is balanced as you saw when I dropped it earlier. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about this car. And we're gonna go ahead and test it on the track and see how it performs. 
was really slow before.